Okay, it's my turn. And yeah, I'm just looking at what we've got up here. Actually, I do have one correction to make. Uh, there's a rule that I've been consistently in my head. I've just got it a little bit wrong. I was saying uh, when Queen B took a silhouette, she only took a silhouette to speed shape, but you can use a card like this, or, and Queen B can use a card like this to, although it gives the, an icon that would only be used for speed shape, she can just use it as a tail, merely, purely for its basal organ and its pheromone. So, a quick little correction. This card was more expensive slightly. So the logic says, stingy rule says she'll take the cheapest one first. So she would have actually taken that one. So this one's gonna be down here now. This one, it came with a red basal organ just like that one, but that's the tail she would have used. That does make Queen Bee potentially a little weaker because she's gone for something that she can't use as well, right? She would, should have pigmentation, give her a couple more organs, but, um, you know, there you go. That's the rules, that's the rules, so we must follow the rules, okay? If you want to use that variant, house rules are absolutely fine. It will make the queen bee just a little bit tougher to beat, but I want to teach you the proper rules. So, yeah, they will take this to merely extend their portrait, despite having a species icon on there, all right? Okay, cool. All right, back to me then. And I think I'm potentially doing exactly the same thing. I'm looking at this organ here. Pyramus legs. I like the, the green pheromone here. And that will go into a red abdomen, which means I could potentially take this one or this tail spine. Notice my spending power is high, although they're not limited by spending power. I am, uh, but all these zombies are really helping me out. This comes with a yellow refill. Okay, no event, good, good. We don't want events because events will tick down these fossils and we're not ready for the game to end just yet. Okay, back to them. So phasing species is this one has the most unborn. So the dragonfly is going. They won't speciate because they've only got one creeper on the map. Okay, and that would make that mother being the last extinct. She's not going to speciate. So we're going to go straight to extending the portrait. She's looking for yellow and red in there. Now she can extend her thorax with the yellow on the right hand side. So these aren't going to work. This one will vermiform so again yeah although it's got a speciate icon on there she's not speciation she's going to use it for its basal organ which gives it another red and then this is going to go this way around can't go this way around this way around okay Yeah. Peristalsis. A peristalsic burring of earthworms using waves of muscular contractions act as biological pistons, forcing air through the tunnels as they move, aerating and mixing the soil. So we've now got a burrowing dragonfly. Wow, what a creature. Okay, back to me. We'll check for events. Ah, there is events. It is the ultra Plinian eruption, a Plinian eruption. Okay, fossil goes to the player with the most living creeples, which I think is actually me, right? One, two, three, four, five, six versus five. Yeah, so I get this fossil. Okay, and then craton number one, which is joined here. So craton number one is coming apart. All right, we've got a very disjointed world now. We've got four separate continents. Back to me then, I'm gonna promote this one. Let's get this in. Um, I could go this way. Fossorial bulldozing. I could speciate it's my other option. I think I'm just going to 
I'm going to get a thorax on here. We're going to go this way. A surface film strider. Make us a little bit more competitive. Okay. Back to Queen B. So this one's still got six unborn. So we're sticking here. Not going to speed shape. She still only has one. Can she extend her portraits? Um, she'll stop at three thorax. Uh, thoraxes or thoraxes. She's got two right now. So actually, she can take these book lungs. So another yellow book gill swimmer. We've got a new basal organ. This is going uh, not this way because they won't replace organs, but it can slide in here like that. For another pheromone, book gill swimmerets for respiration and for swimming. Wow, what a creature. But that's it now, that's three thoraxes, so that's not going to be extended any further unless with a head. We should do a quick score check because there's three pheromones here now. One, two, three. We've also got one up here, that's four. That's their four fossils, that's eight. That's five on the map. This well, that's 13 points for them. I've got six on the map. And I've also got a pheromone and a fossil. So six, seven, eight. I'm on eight now. Let's go again. No event. Good stuff. Johnston's organ. Yeah, no event. All right, good stuff. Back to me. I'm just checking. There's no blue head. Oh, there's this one. This one's coming up. So that's potentially something that she can do to make this one you you so sure. So if I take from here, that's going to make that one available. But I do want a tail. This is what I'm going for. So I'm looking for a red tail. And I was looking for this one. But I could take this one instead. Osmo regulation. Because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one's affordable to me because of those zombies. So I could go for this tail. Delaying that head coming out. But then she's going to populate. She's going to populate and compete with me as predator. So I need to be a stronger predator, don't I? Maybe I'll let her do it. She's got two red. I'm thinking ahead. She's got two red. That would be three red. I've only got one. So I'd need two more red. Which I can get from this or this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this one which gives me a red tail spine. Okay. All right, I'm happy with that. This comes in. She can now take this head. No event, we're good, we're good. Their turn, she's still with the dragonfly, still not speciating, still looking for, and she can only take head, no thoraces this time, so a red, Oh, there's one here, actually. I didn't see that, but there is one here. Oh, no, it's blue. It's blue. Apologies. Blue. Blue head. Blue head. This one. This is what she's taking. Yeah, there's one here. I didn't see that one. So this didn't matter. Okay, cool. Right, but even better. Even better. Even I'm even more convinced I made the right choice. So she's taking this blue head. Uh, I guess another yellow cube. So this dragonfly is good for pollinating and it's got a boring proboscis and that actually goes well with the rest of this creature. I mean, look at that. What a beast. Okay, and one more point because they've got another blue pheromone, but it is used social now, so it has up to its ability. But look at all the silhouette organs it's used, not for speciating. Okay, that's how important that rule is. And uh, it's taken me a while to get my head around, but that's exactly how she works. Okay, one more point to them, I think. No event, please. Yeah, we're good. All right. Now I can promote this. Which I do want to do. Okay. We get another red cube, a metasoma sting. So now we're a pretty potent predator, one, two, three reds. 
I've got an extra pheromone and we're venomous. I'm hoping this will make me competitive within this world. We need to place venomous tokens under all of our creeples, of which there are uh, six. All right, back to them. So still this one, still the most populous, and this is where things start to balance a little bit, I guess. They've made a use so sure. It's got head, thorax, tail, only one creeper on the map, so it's not speciating. So we're going to populate with this one. Um, it's got zero blue cubes, zero white cubes. It's only populating for one. That's its mother. It can't go into the wetlands. It can't go in here. It can only go in here. So it's going to come in here and try and compete as a carnivore. She's got two red. I've got one, two, three red. She's not competing. She's lost the contest. So she can escape by swarm. She can't escape to any of these. But now, because it's a flyer, she can make an airborne dispersal. She can escape by air. She has no white organs, so she's just rolling one die. Let's see what she gets. Craton number eight doesn't exist. So that's death at sea. This thing is becoming a zombie, which I can add to my species here. That's it. She's done a thing. Wow. So populating is not going to be very good affair for this dragonfly until they can get a lucky roll. But the unborn is now down to five. So her next time she's going to be down here at this back swimmer. But for now it's back to me and I'd like to grab another species if I can. So who do we want to take? Let's have a look. We got full rain over the whole market, and I don't see any silhouette that's good for green. No, there's no silhouette that's good for green. This silhouette here is a parasite, so maybe, maybe that's an option. Maybe that's an option. We could create a little parasitic one. See if we can get that working. Should we try that? I don't really want to be competing with my own predator, do I? Let's grab some spittle. Let's do that. All right. See what happens. Okay, back to them. Oof. Now this is the most popular, uh, sorry, the, mo the most unborn is this zombie species here. Now this is interesting, they can't speciate. They can, however, try and extend their portraits, which is what they'll do. So we're looking for a red pheromone on the right hand side. And they're purely doing this to build pheromones, to build victory points. We're looking for a red head or a thorax with a red on the left. That's a red on the right, so that can't go. We need it to be red here. This red head will work. So they're going for this nathopod. So that's coming in. Uh, green basal organ. A head in here. Uh, oh, sorry, one way around. This way around. The rostrum. The earliest insect mouth parts were for chewing, but in hemipteran bugs, they are modified for piercing and sucking. So we've got this funny little piercing, sucking back swimmer who scored his team an extra point. Well, okay. So these um, zombie species are interesting because they can't do much on the map, but they can still exist. Now, I knew this was going to happen because I got a sneaky peek. We've got an event again. So most pheromones gets a fossil, that's obviously him. And then we've got yellow and red, unpromoted mutations disappear. So they get another fossil and another point. And we've got to be very, very careful now because there's only one fossil left. And what can we do about that? I don't know. 
let's BC8 and see what happens. So we're grabbing our parasites. Our daughters, which are parasites, normally they would inherit two reds, yellow and a green, right? But daughters that are parasites only inherit blue. These two blue unpromoted organs do not get inherited. None of these basal organs get inherited. Okay, only blue from here would get inherited. Right, so our little beetle hanger here is pretty flimsy. Now we need to choose our sacrificial mother. And the thing about this is, if the parasite is a daughter, the mother is not sacrificed. They don't replace them. Okay, but you still need a mother. Right, this is the one exception. The mother is not removed from the map. You can't parasitize your own color but you can parasitize another, okay? So our creeper, our parasite might do well to parasitize their archetype, right? This, what is it, their fire brat. In a multiplayer game, once we've hit, decided we're gonna go for these gray ones, that's the color these parasites have to stick with. You couldn't go to another player, right? So these things are parasitizing off gray creatures, to gray creepers. This is our mother. There has to be a host in the same biome. Right, so we couldn't go up here because there's no host up here. Okay. So there you go, that's our spot. That's what we've chosen. It also means now that whatever shape, and the parasite will do this, whatever shape this is, it, it can be preyed on by a carnivore. So a parasite kind of weakens this guy as well, makes it more susceptible to carnivores. So for example, if we'd had, um, if we'd had a carnivore up here and chose to parasitize this flyer, any carnival could now feed on that flyer. Right? As it goes, we've got venom, so we could have gone in here, parasitized this flyer, but no, I'm gonna go for this one. All right. And we've got an extra population, so our points go up by one. Now this is where we can start to get a little bit of an advantage back, because that was the action of my scale insect, right? my archetype, they speciated, but Unlike Queen Bee, who gets one action, we get one action per species. So that was the action of my archetype, right? They speciated. Now, and starting the turn, this turn, the turn we create them, this species now gets an action as well. So they can now, well, we could do any of these things, but let's assume we populate. One plus the number of cute blue cubes, we got none. So let's go and populate. Um, we can go adjacent and we need another host, grey host, we can go here. All right, that's one more point to us. Back to Queen Bee, phasing species is five, 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 this one here, this zombie swimming species. So they can't speciate. They will try and extend their portrait if they can. They've got a head and a tail, so they're looking for a red, red thorax. There isn't one. There is one here, but that's not available yet. So they are going to populate. They can't populate, so they're just going to create a zombie. We can place this either here or here. So let's say I put it here. Back to me. I quite like to hit that continent there, number five. Fate on number five. So I can populate with these if I wish. I don't want to take any cards. I don't want events stealing the end game. So let's try and populate. I can't go here, I'm kind of full. They could populate one here. So I've got one, two, uh, two blue cube plus one is three, three lava. So I can put one in here. And we've got a herbivore contest over yellow. I've got one yellow. They've got one, two, three, four yellow. So we lose the contest and we move to carnivore slots. Then we've got a white cube. So we could, just the one, so we could do an airborne dispersal with these two. 
We can't go here, we can't go to the lake, so we're looking potentially for a five. So one die each, let's just roll them together. Looking for a five. Two and a one, no good. All right, so those two failed. Right now for my Parasite, so they can populate, no blue cubes, but we can populate here. Just one more. So we're getting closer. We're on 13 points, they're on 16. So we're only three points behind now, we've got to do something. Yeah, just keep trying to populate number five is one option. Right, where are they going next? So this is no longer the phasing species because there's only four unborn. So they're going to go back to their flyer and they're going to try and populate, aren't they? Yeah, because they've got to use social. They've only got one mother, so they can't speciate. Um, it is a flyer, so they've got one die and one child. So they get one chance to fly off somewhere and see if they can do an airborne dispersal. Well, actually, what will happen first is they could um, try and go straight in here and have a carnival contest, but we've got three red cubes, they've only got two, so they will swarm, which is an airborne dispersal. They've rolled a six, so yeah, this one is going to die and become a zombie. Back here. Fail. Alright, back to me. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've only got six spending power. So the more zombies are put out, I'm lowering my spending power. Okay, that's the way it is, okay. So this species first. We could try and grab another point by taking the thorax. It was a gamble. We could try and populate this one. Maybe that's the best thing to do. So let's do it again. We've got one, two, plus one, three children. There's nowhere we can go apart from here. So an airborne dispersal. One die each. We're looking for a five. Let's see if we can do it. Seven, seven, one. No good. All right, back to this one. We're kind of stuck here now, so. I don't think I want to do anything with this. Mutate, promote, speciate, no, populate, can't, stuck on this craton. There's a neoteny, neoteny action, remove one basal organ, which you might want to do to save yourself some events. A zombie action, steal one unborn from a co-located co victim. I mean that's an effective action but it's only available to species with mutualism trait in their portrait which is this one here. Okay, which we don't have. Now I could take something. I could take something. I couldn't I can't use that. I mean it would be useful. I could look for a flyer or possibly I still want this one. But my spending power is only six. So I could take this and push this into an affordable position. I think that's what we'll do. I'm going to take this stomach. Oops. Please shuffle down. And ah, uh, there you go. That was the risk. That was the risk. Okay, we've got an event. Fossil goes to whoever's got the most pheromones, which is them. And yeah, okay, we have ended up losing that was the risk okay <laughs> end of the game yeah the continental drift kind of stuffed up if there wasn't a vent here we would have gotten this well we needed a couple of turns with no events got on a white cube pushed our species out perhaps a flyer would have been better and obviously if you speciate earlier you get more actions and then you can get more unborn out onto the map so yeah, if it took me a while, losing this blew me a little bit. If I'd have gotten this one in, 
perhaps that would have helped. That had the mutualism trait as well. That would have been great, and I could have taken some of their unborn using the zombie action and kind of controlled then which of the queen bee species was acting. There's a lot of depth to this, and it's a super, super game. I'm going to set up and get going again. But there you go, that's it. Bias Mesofauna. I've learned a few lessons from this playthrough and a few little tricks that I could use next time. Every game is going to play differently. The layout of your world, the market, how the queen bee reacts to you. So much decision space, so much fun. I really love watching these portraits develop and watching these species evolve. It's super. I mean, look at that beastly dragonfly. Great stuff. All right. Thanks, everyone. That's the game. Thanks for watching. See you next time.